shocking. Why Filipino DNA is the strangest in the world. The headlines are stark. For decades we thought we understood the story of the Filipino people, a simple, linear tale of migration, but today, that story is being torn apart. Scientists are analyzing DNA from across the Philippines' thousands of islands. What they're finding isn't just a new chapter in human history, it's a whole new book. The data reveals a past far more complex and ancient than anyone imagined. Imagine researchers, faces lit by computer screens, staring at genetic charts, then, an anomaly a marker that doesn't fit the old story. This isn't a minor detail, it's a game changer. The genetic makeup of the Filipino people isn't a straight line from a single origin. It's a tangled web of ancient encounters and forgotten migrations. Who are the Filipino people? The answer is written in their DNA. The findings reveal one of the most complex genetic histories on the planet. The story begins tens of thousands of years ago involving ancient relatives, lost species, and epic journeys. The Philippines wasn't just a destination, it was a crossroads, a laboratory of human evolution. This isn't just about rewriting textbooks, it's about redefining identity. For a nation shaped by colonial history, this news offers a deeper, more powerful origin story. It connects modern Filipinos to the earliest chapters of humanity. The resilience and diversity celebrated today have roots stretching back to the dawn of our species. The world is watching as this incredible story unfolds, one gene at a time. The secrets of the archipelago are finally coming to light. For a long time, the explanation for how the Philippines was populated seemed straightforward. It was called the Out of Taiwan model. 4,000 years ago, Austronesian farmers and seafarers left Taiwan, bringing agriculture, pottery, and language. They were seen as the primary ancestors of modern Filipinos. Archaeologists pointed to pottery similarities, linguists traced language roots to Taiwan. The story suggested Austronesians arrived and replaced or absorbed small hunter-gatherer groups. This became the standard explanation in schools and museums. The out-of-Taiwan model painted a picture of recent settlement, with earlier inhabitants, the Negritos, seen as a footnote. It was a story of replacement. New people. New way of life. But even as this theory dominated, questions lingered. Could a single migration wave explain the incredible diversity of the Philippines? The old story, as compelling as it was, seemed to have missing pages. It couldn't fully account for the unique genetic traits and physical diversity across the islands. It was a good story, but not the whole story. The revolution began with a needle, a blood sample, a bit of saliva. Scientists extracted the human genome, reading genetic history like an ancient text. When researchers applied these techniques across the archipelago, the old story began to crumble. The data wasn't just tweaking the out-of-Taiwan model, it was presenting a radical new alternative. The new research acts like a time machine, showing which groups mixed and when. The Austronesian migration was real, but just one event among many. The first inhabitants, the hunter-gatherers, weren't simply replaced, they survived, adapted, and mixed. Their legacy is foundational to the Filipino genome. This new perspective is called the multiple layers model. The Philippines was populated by several waves of migration over tens of thousands of years. The gene pool is a mosaic, a blend of many peoples, each adding their own thread. Instead of a single origin, we see a dynamic history of interaction and admixture. The islands were a vibrant landscape where cultures and peoples met. Scientists are piecing together clues from DNA to reconstruct a lost history. What's emerging is a story of incredible complexity and resilience. The most shocking discovery, a link to the mysterious Denisovans, ancient relatives of Neanderthals. We know little about them, but their genetic legacy survives today, strongest in the Philippines. Some indigenous groups like the Aita Magbukan have the highest Denisovan ancestry in the world, around 5%. This suggests direct repeated contact with Denisovans tens of thousands of years ago. The Philippines was a major stage for interactions between Homo sapiens and other ancient hominins. Denisovan genes may have provided crucial survival advantages, like immunity to local diseases. This connection gives Filipino origins a mythical depth, linking them to a lost branch of humanity. The story of the Philippines is not just Homo sapiens, but multiple human species sharing the world. Scientists were searching for migration patterns and found echoes of a lost world, preserved in living DNA. It's a profound reminder. Our species' history is deeply entangled with others. The Denisovan legacy is a living fossil in Filipino DNA. The past is closer than we think. 
The genetic story is matched by discoveries from the ground. In 2007, archaeologists in Kalau Cave, Luzon, found a tiny foot bone, clearly human, but unusually small. More bones and teeth revealed a new species, Homo luzonensis. This tiny hominin lived on Luzon 50,000 to 67,000 years ago, alongside modern humans. Its features were a bizarre mix, some modern, some ancient, suggesting tree-climbing adaptations. The discovery proved the Philippines was home to unique island-dwelling hominins. It wasn't just Homo sapiens and Denisovans, at least one other species evolved in isolation here. This echoes the Hobbit of Flores, showing island Southeast Asia was a hotbed of hominin evolution. We haven't extracted DNA from Homo luzonensis yet, but its existence gives crucial context. The Philippines was a place where different human lineages coexisted. Could modern Filipinos' ancestors have met Homo luzonensis? The timeline fits. The story is becoming a real-life Lord of the Rings. Multiple kinds of people, their histories only now uncovered. The Philippines' geography is a key character in this story. Over 7,600 islands separated by deep ocean channels created pockets of isolation. During ice ages some islands connected but many remained cut off. This allowed ancient genetic signals to be preserved, like rare species, on remote islands. Each island or mountain range became a natural laboratory, preserving unique lineages. That's why the Ita Magbacon have so much Denisovan DNA, and why other groups have unique markers. The water acted as a barrier, protecting ancient heritage. The Philippines is home to over 180 languages, linguistic diversity, mirroring genetic diversity. Isolated communities developed their own traditions and identities, preserving distinct genetic heritage. The mountains and sea were guardians of history, letting different chapters be written in parallel. The islands didn't just receive migrants, they shaped them. The land and sea are co-authors of this incredible genetic story. Filipino DNA isn't just ancient hominins and early farmers. Over centuries, trade and migration added new threads. Long before Europeans, the Philippines was a hub in a vast maritime network. Chinese traders brought silk, porcelain, and their own DNA. East Asian genetic signatures are visible in many Filipino families today. Ports bustled with vessels from Borneo, the Moluccas, and Southeast Asia. Indian influences arrived via Indonesian empires, shaping language, religion, and art. Islam's arrival in the south added another layer, with Arab traders and missionaries leaving genetic echoes. The archipelago constantly absorbed and adapted new people and ideas. The Filipino people were dynamic, outward-looking, and connected. Each new group added another color to the rich fabric of Filipino identity. In 1521, Magellan's arrival began over 300 years of Spanish rule, reshaping Filipino society, culture, and DNA. Spanish soldiers, administrators, and priests intermarried, creating mestizos and adding a European thread. Many Filipinos today carry Iberian DNA, visible in names like De La Cruz or Santos. The galleon trade connected Manila to Mexico, bringing not just silver but people, adding Native American genes. The Filipino people weren't passive, they adapted, resisted, and endured. They blended Spanish culture into their own, creating unique traditions. This creative adaptation is a hallmark of Filipino character. The colonial period forged a new sense of national consciousness and resilience. American rule added another layer. Language, education, and a small genetic footprint. The entire colonial history is written in Filipino DNA. It's a testament to survival, blending, and the creation of a unique identity. The Filipino story is one of endurance and transformation. So, what does this all mean? Filipino DNA has no single simple story. There is no one original Filipino, just a tapestry woven from countless threads over millennia. The story includes early modern humans, Denisovans, Homo luzonensis, Austronesian farmers, Asian traders and European colonizers. It's one of the most complex human stories on the planet. This new understanding grounds Filipino identity in a history that's deep and uniquely their own. Diversity isn't just recent, it's foundational. The Filipino spirit of resilience and creativity is a genetic inheritance, honed over millennia. This story is a source of pride, connecting every Filipino to an epic human saga. Filipino DNA is a story for all humanity. A reminder that our species' history is complex and interconnected. Intermingling and mixing are the rule, not the exception. The Philippines preserved a clearer record of this process, showing diversity as a source of strength. The Filipino people are a living archive of the human journey, 
a vibrant, hopeful message for the world.